Abraham Lincoln said, the government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall never perish upon this earth. Do we have a government of the people in Ghana? No. Do we have a government by the people in Ghana? No. Do we have a government for the people in, this, of, in Ghana? No. We have a government of the party by the party and for the party. Government of family and friends by family and friends and for family and friends. That is the difference. Because we, first of all, let us blame ourselves. If we, the people, we say power resides with the people, where is our power? After we've elected somebody as a president, where is our power to checkmate him? Where is our power to check make the minister who is not performing? Where is our power to check make the, uh, the MC who, 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 who is in, in the municipality or who is in charge of the district or the district chief executive? We don't have. We elect them into office, look, and they come and they say, the party, this is our manifesto. This is what we'll go by. That is not a government of the people. It's a government by the party. But if they, that government that is coming, there is a national manifesto. And where national manifesto means that we have the, 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 the programs of the communities that is collated into the districts, that is collated into the regions, that is collated in the national district. And at the end of the day, we have community projects, we have district projects, we have regional projects, and we have national projects. When the budget is being prepared, it will be based on that. So we all know that the budget for 20, from 2024 to 2020, whatever it is, we know these are the projects that should take place in this community. So we, the people in this particular community, will be looking for it.